Thanks new tonight, Fayetteville City Council passes a hate crime ordinance, which adds a hate crime component to certain misdemeanors. This comes after two Arkansas lawmakers drafted a hate crime bill ahead of the 2021 legislative session. Five News reporter Allie Lynch spoke with State Senator Jim Hendren, who co-authored that bill about Fayetteville's decision. Allie. Well, Erica, tonight, Fayetteville City Council members passed the ordinance without a dissenting vote. Senator Jim Hendren tells me this is a step in the right direction, although he says Arkansans need to reach out to their state legislators and ask them to support the statewide hate crimes bill. Uh, we need the state legislature to, to step up on this. 47 other states have done this, uh, so Arkansas does not need to be the one of the only three that has it or potentially the only one that has it. This ordinance passed tonight will allow prosecutors to present evidence that shows these crimes were hate based and potentially lead to stiffer penalties. Intimidation, harassment, violence or vandalism directed at a victim because of racial, religious or ethnic animosity are considered hate crimes. It seems like we should do as much as we can here locally to dissuade people from engaging in that kind of hateful behavior. City Council member Teresa Turk voiced her opinion tonight, saying Fayetteville needs to send a strong message to residents, assuring those that the city does not tolerate that behavior. I think it's time that we enacted something like this. Uh, Little Rock has already gone ahead and, and done something and done uh, a similar um, ordinance, and I know that there are other cities that are looking at similar ordinances. One of those other cities that has already passed an ordinance is the town of Harrison. Because as you know, they have a reputation that they uh, are so so desperately trying to shake of, of, of a racist city. And those of us who know people from Harrison, there's good people in Harrison, and obviously there's some bad people who make a lot of noise. So they're very involved in this effort. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Ali Lynch, 5 News. All right, Allie, thanks for a list of all the misdemeanor offenses this ordinance will apply to. You can find a link to this story on our website, 5newsonline.com.